What is good people, right now you know, if you clicked on this thumbnail, it is time for another q and I think the previous Q&A was maybe about two months ago. So for that reason, it made sense to come back and do another one because I do enjoy them and it lets you guys able to get fitness knowledge and also kind of know a little bit more about me and how my brain ticks. So stay tuned for the rest of the Q&A. <laughs> all right so let's get to these questions by the way these questions are all collected from instagram so if you don't follow me on instagram go follow me at chilling with tj anyways question number one is who do i think is going to win out of logan paul and ksi i'm going to go and answer that question later on in the video because i feel like i want to expand on it a little bit more <laughs> did bodybuilding change how many girls were interested in you um uh the short answer is no but then the long answer is also yes and let me explain it's a no in the sense that the way i've always gotten girls and kind of got on dating and all that stuff is based off my personality i kind of have like a really banterous personality and, and i try and create a vibe that's like fun and happy and that kind of attracts females because that's how i am i really like having fun having jokes and if we get on well then we get to that next level where i'm really like self-driven and motivated so we may talk about intellectual stuff but for the most part it's really for my personality but i will also say that yes in a sense that for example if I go on holiday and because you're wearing more revealing clothes it can help you in that aspect where is it where is it where is it where is it uh, da, da, da. how did I get sponsored by my protein the short answer is they slid in my DMs and took it from there do you recommend dirty bulking if you're struggling to gain weight? The real answer is no. I don't care what YouTuber you follow that tried to promote it. It is not the answer and it is not healthy whatsoever. YouTubers did it because they knew that impressionable people that don't really know any better want an excuse to eat junk food. Like that's why cheat day videos do so well because people love seeing people eat junk food because they want to do it. At the end of the day, if you're a hard gainer, you need to just find the level of calories that you have and eat above in surplus. In my opinion, dirty bulking is a very lazy approach is when you don't want to bother spend the time to figure out your calorie level that you're eating to treat above it so you just think you know what I'm not gonna bother do that I'm just gonna go eat any food in the world and just see how I gain weight that is the bad approach yes you will be gaining muscle because you're gonna be in a surplus but you're gonna be gaining a hell of a lot more fat and it's just not good to do I would not recommend it I've done day bulking I did not like my that's the reason why I don't bulk anymore for the most part. I hate it when I day bulky. Like, I love the strength, but in terms of getting around in just day-to-day -day life, it was not nice. I was breathing heavy all the time. Sometimes, I swear to God, I felt like I had heart palpitations. I was just sluggish. I was strong in the gym, but I could have done that if I just did like a nice gradual lean bulk. The moral of the story is the YouTubers that promote day bulking are absolute d -d 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 dickheads. <laughs> all right, moving on from that question. The next one is... What do you think of Sean Thompson now? Um, all I can say is that I hope he's okay. That's basically all I can say. If you've seen the new Sean Thompson's videos, that's all I can really say without going in depth. Yeah, I hope he's doing well, because he's, yeah. <laughs> Sum up your first year of university in one word. Okay, the word is disappointing. But let me tell you why it was disappointing. The reason it was disappointing is because I thought going to university was gonna be like all the movies, American Pie being the main one, so I thought there's gonna be non-stop women, parties, drinks, just crazy, crazy, like, super American vibes. Me being naive, because that's what I saw uni as. American Pie, left, right, centre. That was not the case, especially because I went to uni in Staffordshire. If you don't know where Staffordshire is, basically it's a university surrounded by sheeps, cows, and more sheeps. And to make it even worse, I was at a computing campus. So, if I remember correctly, the ratio was for every 140 men, there was one girl. And that one girl looked more manly than I did. So, needless to say, I was really downhearted and really upset about that. And that is the reason why I chose to live in the other campus, in Stoke. Because I refuse to spend three to four years living on a campus with just nerdy dudes that don't really socialise, just played gaming and there was no females about. I don't think I could have lasted three to four years with no real... F I need females around me. If I'm, I could not be able to survive. So I decided to live in Stoke-on-Trent. And literally every single morning, every single evening, I caught an owl bus there and owl bus back. Just because I wanted to be at that campus where they had like girls around because they studied uh, business and all sorts of... Just normal degrees that like that's a mixed population not just computing but boy it was a lot of effort a lot of hassle but I definitely am happy that I did that <laughs> all right the next question is when cutting how much cardio do you do 
Well, firstly, I have a full video that goes over my whole uh, like cutting regime, which includes cardio. It's I probably I may I may put it on screen, I may not, but basically, if you just search my channel or search just YouTube, chilling with TJ cutting, the complete guide to cutting will show up, which is my whole guide. It's about 10 to 12 minutes of pure information, me talking about every single step I do when cutting. I've got one of those videos for actually everything. I've got one for bulking. I've got one for how to start the gym. I've I've got the Basically, I have a whole series called the Beginner Gym Series, and that's basically where those videos lie. <laughs> What's my future plans? To be honest, um, without I know this is where someone normally says something really deep and really motivational, and I really like thought out. But really, for me, I'm gonna be real honest and say my main goal or plan is to get out of the nine to five. That's the only real solid. Um, aim that I have in this future like I like traveling and I want to travel more but I know I'm gonna do that regardless my main kind of focus is trying to get out of the nine to five kind of trap I'm gonna call it um, even if that just means getting down to three days a week but I want to try and get to that as soon as I can <laughs> all right this question now right like this question I'm trying with every fiber of my being not to try and roast the person who sent it it seems so naive and it feels like the question should be common sense but anyway I'm gonna read it regardless he says, relationship wise, how are you doing this shit solo? Like staying on the grind without banging. He's saying this because I don't have a girlfriend. And I haven't had a official girlfriend in, oh, I can't remember how long it's been ages. But to say that is to say, do you really think because I don't have an official girlfriend, I haven't seen anyone throughout this whole period? That should be damn near common sense. Like realistically, I've still been seeing people throughout this whole period. I just don't vlog that stuff because pff, I don't need to. <laughs> What is your favorite deep quote to get someone motivated? Um, I wouldn't say I have like a go-to quote, but one, one thing I would always like people to do is be a doer and not just a talker. I know many people, uh, friends and just uh, acquaintances from work that always talk about things that they would like to do, but when I ask them how they're gonna do it or I follow up with them like months later, they more or less either forgot what they mentioned or just haven't really proceeded to do anything to get them to where they said. It's almost like they're just saying dreams and wishes without any action and I really, I wouldn't say I dislike those people because it is their prerogative, but I just don't see how people can do that. Like I, anything I've said on this channel, that's like motivation or like something to claim, or something to reach, I aim to get to it and I've got steps in motion, you know what I mean? So I'm not really a fan of people that just kind of talk, talk, talk and literally do nothing. I've got friends that do it and I sometimes call them out but sometimes I'm like, you know what? Everybody's different. Some people maybe be happy with talking whereas I'm one of those people where I really need to do this. Even if I fail, I just need to attempt to do it so I can say I've tried a few times. But that's that's a mentality thing. You can't really change that about people. They have to, deliver, they have to develop that by themselves. <laughs> What do you do when you feel like not going to the gym? Uh, in honesty, you just gotta take yourself to the gym. <laughs> that, you know, it, Cause really what you described that as is just being lazy, isn't it? It's not like you can't go to the gym for a reason. When you just don't feel like going to the gym, that basically just means you can't be asked to go, right? Um, so what I would do if you wanna trick yourself into going like I do when I fall off the gym, is I personally just say, I normally go to the gym for like an hour, an hour and a half. If I go there, I go, you know what, today, I don't feel for it, I'm only gonna go there for 30 minutes. The chances are, once you've actually reached the gym, you'll stay the full time. <laughs> Where next will I be traveling to? Uh, one of the next places I would like to go is China or America. <laughs> Let me hear you scream it out. <sighs> right, so this brings us on to the final question of the video, which is, who do I think will win out of Logan Paul and KSI, and who would I bet my money on? Ah, see this is a funny one now. First of all, I don't really follow either YouTuber like heavy heavy. I used to watch Logan Paul for a while because I like how he puts together his vlogs. They're really really animated and really entertaining. I've never really followed KSI at all, but I know of him, uh, you know what I mean? Um, if I was to go like really analytical, I would, my, like, like my head, when I bring logic into factors and stuff like that, would say Logan Paul would win purely because He's been more athletic throughout his whole life. Stuff like jumping off buildings, he does a lot of like running. A lot, basically a lot of things that would mean that your endurance and strength is probably pretty good. But then, I would like KSI to win. So it's a little bit of a tricky one here, man. Basically, I want KSI to win. One, because he's from England, so it's kind of like, I guess that's something to relate, make him relatable. And two, because I know Deji's gonna get his ass beat. So um, I don't wanna see both brothers lose as well, so that's two. And number three, KSI black. You know what? Now nah, that's the that's that's probably the main two reasons. You know what I mean? So my prediction is that KSI will win, and I did actually catch his video with Bradley Martin when you know Bradley Martin's been using them for views. He's letting them punch him in the face, right? 
and watching KSI's one back, he, think, he seems a lot more there in the head and boxing is a massive game of chess in your brain, like how you figure someone out, how you stay calm when you get hit and how you manoeuvre. If you was to watch both the videos they did with Bradley and how they spoke about how they're going to fight, I feel like KSI felt more calm and more smooth, he didn't really feel like nervous, whereas Logan seemed a bit like jeery, like he just wants to gain everything and knock out KSI, where you need to be more calm and focused. But that is just my opinion, I am, obviously I'm not sure, I don't know for sure, you know, nobody knows for sure, you know what I mean, like a one punch from Bradley Martin doesn't really mean shit, so what I would say is, let's make this a fun game, comment down below, who do you think is going to win, I want to see the predictions, because the, I'm going to go back and read the comments and see what people are on par and what are right. In terms of knockouts, first of all, Deji versus Jake Paul, I'm going to say Deji gets knocked out within the first two rounds. Now in terms of Logan and KSI now, I feel like it's going to be at least four or five rounds. I feel like KSI and that Joe Weller dude did three rounds right. So I feel like KSI, Logan Paul, four or five, depending on if one of them is simply outclassed. If one of them is purely outclassing the other one, I'd say three rounds, but if they're doing fairly, fairly level, like I feel like they might do, four or five, and five is the one I got in my head. I'm gonna give five to KSI, but I feel like someone's definitely gonna get knocked out, purely because they're not professional, they haven't even got the endurance to stay on their feet for a full 12 round fight, while being knocked, being punched and being tired. Your legs are gonna get soft, your arms are gonna start dropping, and eventually someone's gonna get knocked out. Uh, it may not be like a knockout punch, but it's gonna be a knockout, as in the ending. That's the one thing I'm almost, completely sure about it will not go 12 rounds if it does that'd be dope but um i don't think it will anyway that's my opinion people hope you like the video like comment subscribe and definitely let me know below <laughs> below who you think's gonna win anyways i'll see you in the next video which will be something super fitness related i assume so stay tuned for it probably a full day of eating maybe a meal prep who knows stay tuned